welcome students in the organic chemistry lecture series today in this video we are going to study about the examples of wittig reaction in previous video we have already discussed about this reaction we have seen the mechanism of this reaction uh, i will summarize uh, in a very short time what we have seen in the previous video in previous video we have seen that this wittig reaction was discovered by uh, hc brown and wittig and wittig these are the names of the scientist who have discovered this reaction and due to this discovery they got nobel prize in chemistry in 1979 that means this discovery was very important why it was important because by using this reaction we can directly convert we can directly convert carbonyl compounds carbonyl compounds to alkenes okay so this route was very crucial that's why uh, this reaction got the nobel prize in 1979 we can convert carbonyl compounds to alkenes directly by using organophosphorus compounds by using organophosphorus compound organophosphorus compound in previous video we have seen the mechanism that organophosphorus compound is popularly known as elide remember okay so i have already explained the mechanism in mechanism what was the mechanism of this reaction in mechanism the first step was preparation of preparation of elide this was the first step and elide was prepared from by using a uh, triphenyl phosphine that is ph3p and alkyl halide r ch x r dash by using these two compound triphenyl phosphine and alkyl halide we have synthesized the elide i will write directly the elide yesterday i have uh, explained that how elide is formed so this elide is directly synthesized by using triphenyl phosphine and alkyl halide okay in second step in second step this elide reaction of elide with carbonyl compound that means in second step elide directly reacts with carbonyl compound okay so we can write plus here so c double bond o r dash r dash and there is a formation of r dash r double dash double bond c r r dash so this alkene is obtained with the elimination of ph3p double bond o so this is about the wittig reaction what we have seen yesterday uh, wittig reaction is nothing but the conversion of carbonyl compounds into alkenes by using organophosphorus compound that organophosphorus compound is called as elide the elide is synthesized from triphenyl phosphine and alkyl halide the reaction of triphenyl and alkyl halide gives the elide and this elide react with a carbonyl compound to form alkene the betaine intermediate is obtained here remember in this transformation so this part we have seen yesterday now we'll see few examples of this reaction so that uh, you will easily understood see the example now i will write one uh, reaction here uh so we can uh, prepare highly synthesized say like ph c double bond o 
pH this is a benzophenone if this benzophenone is reacted with this elide pH 3 P double bond C again we will take here pH pH on arrow there is a tetrahydrofuron THF solvent and we have to write the product so this is the example of uh, Wittig reaction so we just have to combine this triphenyl phosphine with oxygen so we will get uh, this alkene pH C pH double bond C pH and pH plus pH 3 P double bond O this will be the side product and this will be the um, product okay so this is a very simple reaction you just have to uh, treat elide with carbonyl compound to form the alkene remember so this is one of the example of Wittig reaction uh, we can take another example uh, uh, which is there in your book so we can take a cyclohexanone uh, plus a triphenyl phosphine elide of that triphenyl phosphine CS3 CS3 on arrow there is a tetrahydrofuron THF solvent now what will be the product C again the same mechanism you have to follow you will get this product Here there is a formation of alkene uh, C, CS3, CS3 and side product will be PH3P double bond O. The name of this uh, uh, product is isopropylidine. Isopropylidine cyclohexane. Cyclo so this is the name of this product okay so this was the another example okay sometimes what happen uh, they directly does not give the elide they will give uh, like this for example a uh, bore reaction can be written in this way now this is cyclo uh, hexanone and uh, on arrow uh, there may be a triphenyl phosphine ph3p okay then there will be a uh, now uh, say R uh, sorry uh, CS3 uh, BR C H CS3 CS3 and in third condition there will be THF so sometime uh, example can be of this type so what you have to do there you have to uh, form elide first that means triphenyl phosphine will react with this alkyl halide first to generate this elide and then in presence of solvent thf this elide will react with carbonyl compound to form our product so uh, in this way example can be asked so remember uh, we'll take another example a uh, very simple example suppose uh, we have a C6 H5 U C double bond O H plus pH3 P sorry it's not working one minute huh? pH3P double bond CH CH double bond CH uh, again C6 H5 so in presence of THF what will be the product same mechanism you have to utilize uh, this is carbonyl compound and this is elide so you just have to uh, write product in this way C6 H5 CH double bond CH single bond CH double bond CH 
C six H five. So this will be the product. So the name of this product is one comma four diphenyl diphenyl one comma three butadiene butadiene. So this is the product. So we can prepare a conjugated diene. This is a conjugated diene. See here, alternate single and double bond is there. So such type of conjugated dienes also we can synthesize by using this uh, reaction. So finally, I will uh, summarize this topic. Today we have completed this topic: uh, molecular rearrangement, molecular rearrangement. Okay, so in this molecular rearrangement, we have uh, learned three rearrangements, three rearrangements. Uh, the first was pinacol, pinacolon rearrangement. Second was a Beckman rearrangement, Beckman rearrangement, and third was a Fevrosky. Rearrangement, and then we have learned two named reactions. Named reactions. The first named reaction we have studied was Michael addition reaction, and the second named reaction was Wittig reaction. So in this topic, I have tried to. Uh, Explain about what is uh, the rearrangements of this pinacol pinacolon along with its mechanism and example. So every rearrangement I have explained with its mechanism and along with example and name reaction also I have explained along with its mechanism and name reaction uh, examples. So I have tried my best to uh, explain the uh, reactions in a very simple and liquid way to understand you. Though few times uh, we didn't didn't understand the mechanism and we failed to uh, solve the problems based on these reactions. So my advice is that you just have to do the practice of each and every uh, reaction which we have taken. So not necessarily you just refer the examples which I have taken in these videos, but you have to refer the examples from other sources also, say other reference books, um, exercises, or your textbooks or you can use uh, uh, Google also for searching the example. So if you uh, just write a Wittig reaction in Google and uh, search the examples in, in the form of images, you will find uh, thousands of examples there. Similarly, you can search examples of Michael addition. You can search examples of Fevrosky rearrangement. You can search examples of Beckman, Pinacolon, etc. Okay, so it is very uh, simple nowadays to find out the resources it is very simple because a lot of stuffs is available on the internet you just have to do the practice by searching that stuff so it is very uh, important to do that uh, in organic chemistry uh, you have to do the practice of uh, reactions and mechanisms and then and only then you can learn the things and remember no not necessary to remember the examples as it is you just have to uh, think about uh, what is the reaction, how it works, uh, what is the mechanism. So you can solve any examples based on that particular uh, reaction. So I hope uh, this topic uh, is uh, clear to all of you and we will going to conduct the test on this topic on 26th of February. So be prepared for the text, uh, test uh, and uh, uh, do the study hard. Okay. So I will stop here today. And we'll meet in next video with new topic. So have a nice day. Thank you.